we still want to make sure that we follow that process. Nobody is indicating or, or suggesting that you know there's uh, a personal interest, but I think that it gets clouded when the process or decision has been made on one hand, and then on the other hand, somebody says, I'm not going to do it. You and I had that conversation. Mm -hmm. And I kind of stayed out of the middle of it until I kept seeing it going back and forth in the process. Uh, you know, decisions were being made that I knew should not be made uh, by the service provider to terminate contracts, uh, and that hadn't been decided by the commission. That's why I sent out that email that we need to put the brakes on until we've had the opportunity to sit down uh, and to have uh, our meetings and make these decisions so that the process is clear. Uh, and we're not just making these decisions in a vacuum. And when we do that, the taxpayers get hurt. All of the other things, like with businesses being fined, you know, as a result of that sort of thing, we need to, 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 to make sure that that is accurate and see evidence of that. Uh, if, if that is the case, and then we can correct those processes. But I think that when we make these decisions in the vacuum, uh, it doesn't look good for any of us. Agreed. So going forward, given given what we have, given the evidence that we presented about this company, do you guys, commissioners, do you want us to pay them for January, February, and March, which March they were not even out there, but January, February, March, should we cut them a check for 16 profit? Yes. And I have a question. I just want to make sure everyone has seen it. Have you all seen what they tried to time sheets? It, 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 I've seen the time sheets, but here, here, here's the reason why I'm saying yes. And we call it as a vote. The reason why I'm saying yes is because we were un under unusual circumstances. Mm -hmm. We did not have any oversee oversight as far as a formal oversight as an um, executive I mean, uh, 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 service provider. So these were unusual circumstances. We signed a contract in December with our previous service provider. We want to start clean. They're not coming to sue you. They're probably going to go in and sue uh, um, South Shore because they're the ones that entered the contract. No, they're coming, whoever the fiduciary has the, the money, they're coming for me. Well, I just don't want the SSA 49 to go forward. I do, because with, the reason why I'm saying that this, is the reason why I'm saying cloud. that is cloud. I think we can but start, I agree. start should, fresh. Should we, should we, when it comes to paying out, like you said, like you stated earlier, in the if future, not, we have a service provider, so we will, it would be a different working relationship. Well, if they're not, if they're, should we assess how much they should get paid given the timesheet, given the evidence? Should we just write a flat? And like I said, it's your decision. Right. If, do you want me to write a flat check, or do you want me to investigate to see what we can pay them? Mark, right. and then invest that time. Yeah. Right. Okay, Mark. Okay. I've got two comments. First, after seeing the timesheet, it, it's important to put it in context that that was following a 20-inch snow. And I... I Personally, and what SSA it is, because it doesn't say it on there. Well, uh, yes, it does. It says 49. Yeah. Just 49. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I can see how it's can see. I think they're, they're severely uh, caught off guard, given their capacity to handle 20 inches of snow for this size of an area. Um, I can see how workers could be out in that circumstances for 20 hours. So I don't think that's that far line, as opposed to if it was a 5 or 6 inch snow or something like that. The other thing is, uh, as far as this, this setup, the, the arrangement for a, a flat fee, uh, my understanding is that the decision was made by the commission to go with a flat fee, snow or no snow, after experiencing the winter before this past winter, where uh, they were caught uh, not having enough funds budgeted because of you know, not a normally high amount of snow the previous winter. So the, the decision was made at that point to go with the flat fee that they would come, whether it snows 20 inches or whether it doesn't snow at all, that it's covered um, that way. That, that so that from a budgetary standpoint, it's easier to go with that than to pay by, by the inch. Exactly. So this why is just I not think we should, yeah. should pay, pay, our, pay the contract because it doesn't, you know, we, we're going to get back and forth what day it was. I think the contract was clear. We're going to pay them fifty-five hundred for January, fifty-five hundred for February, and fifty-five hundred for March. Pay them the money. It's over. It's done. We don't owe them anything for April because we didn't have any snow. Praise the Lord. And then, and, and, and well, not yet. So is there a vote? <laughs> <laughs>
still able. Yeah, let's get this. Uh, um, yeah, we want to call for. Uh, call for motion. Second. 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 I so moved that we pay. I so moved that we pay the contract out according to how we agreed. Fifty five hundred for January, fifty five hundred for February, and fifty five hundred for March. Is there a second? Any discussion? All in favor? Mm -hmm. I have to say. Please note what the board is saying. Motion carries. So, bronze, Bronzeville Green will be paid for the months of January, February, and March. A total of $5,500 each for funeral removal services provided in January, February, and March of 2015. Right. Next, right. financial update. Financial update. Let's see. I think you have a great statement here. So this is a bank statement for our bank, our business bank is Bimo Harris that holds the right. SSA funds. So we transferred all funds according to uh, from South Shore. We worked that out with uh, John the Wards from South Shore Chamber. So all funds have been accounted for. And our previous bank was um, Seaway Bank. Seaway Bank, um, and we made the decision to change based on um, past. Getting better rates and just service and different service issues that we had in the past, and so we tried to work with them. And then we just wanted to really start in a banking relationship. Bimo Harris does a lot of SSAs. We would love to continue our relationship, but we had a lot of funds that were that we just you know it was have to go back and forth regarding funds that were automatically taken out and going to reconcile on a monthly basis. And just you know not from a lack of trying because we wanted to keep it in the community, but but to no avail. We just had ongoing issues from uh, banking, Bank, but we are always open to other banking relationships and, we, you know, welcome any suggestions. But our current bank is, you know, this. Does anyone have, anyone have a bank? Yeah, so the account was open, so you'll start seeing, uh, for I know going forward, that uh, what we do with our commissioners and especially the treasurer, we set up a bill.com so that therefore all of our invoices will be on there so when we need to approve something uh, we'll help you set up the online account that time for it. Mm -hmm. so that therefore um, any invoice we get you just click on approved and we'll be able to move forward when it comes to payment uh, so were any checks written during this period or no? No. no. So nothing was done this is just, I knew this is our first statement as we started so this is the yeah. as a so existing vendors have they? That was up on the April statement. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. they haven't. We paid them through our uh, our funds through so that therefore the SSA they will reimburse. That our account. South CDC, so there'll right. be a check stating. There'll be a check, check stating. And then the backup will be exactly. attached to each of those mm -hmm. checks. Yes. And that'll be at the next statement. That'll be at the April. next statement. Yes. Okay. Once we get the approval. From um, the treasurer. Yes. <laughs> Right. So, any questions with this? So, where's our net cash after those statements are actually, or after those transactions are actually cleared up? Um, like I said, we'll once we do that, we'll get the we'll get you the P and L uh, of the exact number. I don't want to quote a number, but you'll get the exact P and L from down the sheet. But Clean Street and uh, all points all points have have been paid. Have been paid. So there's a motion to approve the financial update for March. Second. No second. Discussion. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed. Abstain. Motion carries. A financial update dated March 31st, 2015 has been approved. So now we're going on to 2015 budget. Discussion. Discussion. Discussion.